So, hey everyone, Bill Barhai here at Abra HQ in Mountain View, California. I'm thrilled to have uh, Roger Ver with me from Korea, is that right? Uh, from Seoul? Seoul, Korea today, that's right. All right, I hear you have a hurricane going on. I hope everybody's uh, safe and indoors in your, in your little world there. Yeah, so far everything seems just fine. Okay, good. Uh, hey, look, I'm really excited to talk to you today. I want to get an update on what's going on with Bitcoin Cash and reciprocate with some updates on Abra as well. And hopefully we can share this with the rest of the world and uh, they'll be more the wiser about the Bitcoin Cash. So, so I'd love to hear from your perspective what's going on with the Bitcoin Cash community, uh, what's coming, what's the latest and greatest. Um, well, first of all, I, I want to thank you for having Bitcoin Cash support in the Abra app right there. Uh, that's just another example of how Bitcoin Cash is being used by more and more people around the world for all sorts of things. And uh, I hear you have a little bit of a, an additional announcement for that. Maybe you can share. Yeah, sure. Well, I'll get that out of the way first. So we're adding native Bitcoin Cash supports to the Abra app in addition to the synthetic Bitcoin Cash that we've already had. What that means for our average user is, is they can actually deposit and withdraw directly in Bitcoin Cash now. And anybody who had Bitcoin earlier uh, from the, the hard fork will actually finally get that uh, incremental Bitcoin cash automatically deposited into their wallets if they haven't already gotten it. Uh, and so that'll be live by the time everyone everyone sees this anyway. So it's pretty much coming now. Uh, we've been working on it for a while. It's the next uh, big, big step for us in, in more crypto support. And it's one of the most common requests we get. So I'm really excited about it. So that's some pretty big news. So native Bitcoin Cash deposits and withdrawals from the Abra app, which uh, leads me right into one of my very, very favorite uses for Bitcoin Cash, uh, especially for people there in California or the U.S., but it works in Japan, it works all over the place as well, is uh, Purse.io. I don't know if you've ever used that yourself there, Bill. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I love Purse.io. Yeah. You, you can get like a 30% discount off it's of amazing. every single purse from Amazon. It's absolutely yeah. incredible. Yeah. And, uh if you haven't tried it, you know, and you're watching this video, go and give it a try. P U R S E dot I O. The, the product shipped to you directly from Amazon, and you can get like 25, 30, even 35 percent discounts from Amazon. It's absolutely incredible. It's a, uh, it's fantastic. You, everyone should be using it for every single Amazon purchase all the time. It's yeah. it's amazing. So. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I love it. I've used it for years. I'm a big fan of the team over there as well. I think they're doing great stuff for Bitcoin and the broader community. Uh, so yeah, that's that's a, a really good example of a great use case for, for for crypto Bitcoin Cash as well. So 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 tell me what's going on with the community. Where, where, what what should we look forward to in the coming months? Yeah, um, there's just so much adoption happening. So I've, I've been involved in you know Bitcoin and digital currencies for almost eight years now. Yeah, and I've been able to watch the entire ecosystem you know go from basically nobody using it for much of anything at all to now it's this worldwide phenomenon where everybody yeah. knows about it. But it's so clear that all the building and all the new exciting stuff is being built for the most part and the vast majority on Bitcoin Cash. So just uh, on August 1st of this year, they launched uh, tokens are now available on Bitcoin Cash. And there have already been more than 200 tokens launched on top of Bitcoin Cash. So we're going to start seeing more ICOs happen on top of Bitcoin Cash. But the part for me that's the most interesting and the thing that got me the most excited about digital currencies was using them as a currency. Yeah. And Bitcoin Cash transactions are lightning fast, super cheap and super reliable. That's what you need from a currency. And that's why we're seeing all these companies like Abra, like Coinbase, like BitPay, like Bitcoin.com, of course. We're all busy building stuff and, and adding Bitcoin Cash to our, our platform because yeah. it, it works fast, cheaply and reliably. And you'll see some people on the Internet complaining about that. Oh, my God, they're using Bitcoin Cash and calling it names. But Anybody that's actually used it realizes that it's incredibly convenient, and mm -hmm. at the end of the day, that's what we need things. We need things that are useful in our lives if we want people to use them, and Bitcoin Cash is just plain useful in our lives. And so I just finished a, a big conference here in Korea uh, okay. that was a digital currency conference, but everybody there kept going, oh, I love Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin Cash. Koreans absolutely love Bitcoin Cash, so there's lots of stuff happening. And One interesting example of that is a, a debit card company here in Korea called Fusex. Yeah. Initially was going to launch a debit card that doesn't debit your crypto until the time you actually make the purchase at some you know place that accepts Visa. Um, they recently they dropped BTC from their platform and added BCH instead because anybody that's actually trying to use a cryptocurrency as a currency realizes that fast, cheap, reliable transactions are incredibly important. And sadly, BTC doesn't have that anymore. And uh, you know I say that as one of the very, very, very first people in the entire world that started promoting Bitcoin. And from my point of view. Bitcoin Cash has the original spirit and economic code that made Bitcoin successful to begin with, and that's why I'm busy focused on Bitcoin Cash. And it sounds like uh, Abra, to some extent, is uh, on board with that as well. Cryptocurrency should be usable as a currency. 
Yeah, look, we we agree that uh, there's going to be lots of cryptocurrencies over time. Um, we agree with the idea of, of, of a currency that serves the purpose of uh, payments and money uh, and one that serves the purpose of digital gold, which is clearly the path that the Bitcoin core team is taking uh, Bitcoin down. We can debate all day as to whether that should have transpired or not. It is what it is now. Uh, and, and we support both tracks. We support the Litecoin track, which I tend to liken a little bit to kind of the the silver to Bitcoin's digital digital gold. And, and you know, you've been a key champion in taking Bitcoin Cash down a very different track. And, and we think the competition is fantastic. That's our perspective, because we think regardless of uh, my own personal opinions as to where Bitcoin should go, the more competition there is, the, the faster the entire space gets propelled forward. Sometimes I wish the competition was a little less vitriolic in the communication, but but, you know, maybe that's just my personal style. I only care that it happens and, and the space gets moved forward. Um, but I'm curious, anecdotally, what are you hearing out there in the real world about how Bitcoin Cash is, is, is being used? Do you still see it mostly from a speculation perspective or are you actually seeing kind of real world payment use cases now emerging uh, for Bitcoin Cash? And where are we kind of is it is it the same transition as Bitcoin or is it happening differently on its own? So there was a report that came out, I don't know, maybe a month or two ago now, saying that more people are using Bitcoin Cash percentage-wise as a store of value than people that are using BTC as a store of value. And a lot of the BTC people said, see, what are you guys doing? But like, from my perspective, of course, I would want to use BCH, Bitcoin Cash, as a store of value, because I think I'll actually be able to spend it everywhere later. And the only reason you would want to save something is if you think you're going to have a use for it later. And uh, I thought that was a a really good really bullish sign for Bitcoin Cash. And then it just came out in the news recently that Bitmain is sitting on one million Bitcoin Cash, right? Over half a billion dollars worth of Bitcoin Cash. And Bitmain is earning, you know, over $10 million a day in profit every single day, more than $10 million. So they have a huge incentive to help build up the infrastructure around Bitcoin Cash to make it even more useful. The guys over at BitPay are busy integrating Bitcoin Cash into every aspect of their platform as fast as they can. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're doing the same at, at Bitcoin.com. It's just so clear. The useful something is, the more people are going to use it. And the more people that are using it, the more useful it becomes. So Bitcoin Cash has this reoccurring virtuous cycle of adoption going right. on worldwide. And uh, I don't see it slowing down at all. And when I saw the news that came out that Bitmain was sitting on so much Bitcoin Cash, it inspired me to to sell even more of my uh, BTC holdings to, to buy even more Bitcoin Cash because you can use Bitcoin Cash at every merchant that accepts BitPay or every merchant that accepts uh, Coinbase. You have you know a good chunk of the the Bitcoin world covered at at that point already right now today, and more and more is happening. So uh, and I couldn't agree with you more, Bill. Like competition leads to a better quality product at a better price with a better user experience for the user. So the more competition we have, the better. And I also agree with you. I, I wish, I just kind of wish the competition wasn't so uh, vitriolic all the time. Yeah. Well, it is what it is at this point. I'm, I'm, I'm unfortunately a little numb to it, but, but, you know, we just try to do the best by our users at Abra and we've got hundreds of thousands of them and more coming every day. And, you know, they can care less about what happens in the Twitter sphere amongst us, you know, crypto Roddy. They just want you something know, that works. They want it super easy. You know, we have we, we've been interviewing a lot of our users lately and we have like 80 year old retirees, you know, that are buying and investing in Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, Ether. They don't if I explain to them these debates we were having, they wouldn't understand what we were talking about in the first place. Right. So that doesn't mean that debates aren't important. It just means that. We have to put it in perspective versus the people that are actually using our products today, the wallets that actually store a real private key being used by a real person. Um, anyway, so I'm curious, you know, just kind of riffing on what you said about what you're seeing in the community in Bitmain. I mean, let's just get specific. What do you really see as the path to usage and adoption as it relates to Bitcoin Cash? Do you think it's different from a Bitcoin or a Litecoin? Or do you think it's 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 the same, but it just happens faster? I mean, what, what how do you see it? I think the path forward for adoption for Bitcoin Cash is the exact same path for adoption that Bitcoin had from you know 2009 until 2015 or 2016, when these other people with a completely different vision for BTC than what it had been originally and what was outlined in the white paper, literally started cheering and talking about popping champagne when the fees became $50 per transaction. Uh, for Bitcoin transactions, and I'm I'm sure any if you did a poll with any of your users, you asked them if it cost fifty dollars per transaction to use something, are you going to use it? And they're going to say no, of course not. Sure. And uh, 
That's why we've seen the entire industry for people that are actually trying to use cryptocurrencies move away from BTC. And that's really sad because it had this just absolutely giant, what seemed to be insurmountable first mover advantage has basically been uh, destroyed or is gone at this point. So. Okay, that's fair. But let's let's come back to the, the assumption that we've got, you know, really, really cheap uh, uh, network fees, you know, penny or whatever. So the question right? was, what do we do to get the yeah, adoption? You, you know, what, what's going to happen to create that adoption? Is it going to happen organically? Do you feel like there's examples where it's already there, where people don't even think about it, they're just using it? Or, or if not, how do we get there? Uh, I think it's companies like Abra and Bitcoin.com and Purse.io that make it so useful that people would rather use cryptocurrencies rather than whatever they've been using previously. So it has to be faster, cheaper, more reliable, and more convenient than the alternatives out there in the market. Everything is competing against everything else. Pieces of paper cash are competing against credit cards, are competing against PayPal, are competing against all the different digital currencies. Everything is competing against everything else. And the things that wind up being the most convenient and the most useful to the most number of people are gonna wind up being the things that are used by the most number of people. So it's our job to spread the world, the word and build the tools to show the world why cryptocurrencies are more useful to them than the alternatives that are out there. Is there, thanks, I agree with that, by the way, is there a roadmap for Bitcoin Cash that highlights like some like really innovative uh, new stuff over the next year that you think is even more likely to propel Bitcoin Cash forward versus other cryptos? I, I don't think we really need a bunch of super innovative new stuff. I think we just need, we had the original winning formula where we watched Bitcoin from 2009 until, you know, 2015 or 16 there. Just get adoption after adoption after business after business. The entire world was you know, coming on board until until the blocks became full, which changed the winning formula that we had. Mm -hmm. And so I think that winning formula is still alive and well on Bitcoin Cash and a number of other coins there as well. But Bit the network effect is incredibly important too. So Bitcoin Cash has one of the biggest network effects of any cryptocurrency out there. So uh, And at the end of the day, I don't care which cryptocurrency winds up winning out as long as it winds up bringing more individual economic freedom to people around the world. That's why I'm involved with this, yeah. and that's why I'm excited about it. And I think Bitcoin Cash has the best chance of doing it. But if it winds up being Ethereum, that's fine. If it winds up being Dash, that's fine too. I don't care which one it is as long as it happens quickly uh, because right, life right, is short. Right. That's, that's true. Yeah, I don't want it to be my grandkids that win. I'd like to participate myself. Uh, so, Well, I want them to win too, but I'd like to participate myself. So I, I understand, as I understand the community right for Bitcoin Cash, there isn't one kind of core equivalents, right? There's several implementations that all kind of make up that, that crypto's network. Can you give a perspective on, on like why there's multiple like implementations, how they differentiate each, uh, from each other and why that's a good thing for the community? Sure. So there, there's, as you mentioned, there's several different full node implementations on Bitcoin Cash. Um, Bitcoin ABC is one, Bitcoin Unlimited is another, Bitcoin Satoshi's vision has just been announced recently. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And it's nice not to have all of them on one single node implementation because if there is a mistake or a bug of that one single node implementation, then the entire network comes to a screeching halt. Whereas if there winds up being a bug in one of these multiple node implementations, that gives the network some additional robustness and uh, you know ways to come back from, from there being a bug. Because at the end of the day, software will have bugs in it uh, occasionally. We try and minimize the amount of bugs, but... Uh, any complex piece of software is going to have bugs. That's just uh, the, the reality of the matter. So. Right. So, so let's stay like more short term. Let's say let's go out like 36 months. What's your prediction for where Bitcoin Cash and the crypto community will be 36 months from now? Yeah, I think we're going to see more merchant adoption, more users, more market cap, more more everything happening on top of Bitcoin Cash because all the layer two stuff will work faster, better, cheaper, more reliably than on a chain that has full blocks. And uh, we have, you know, all these users around the world and companies like Abra adding full support, uh, native support for Bitcoin Cash. And you're not the only one. Bitcoin.com gets contacted all the time with different businesses all over the world wanting to integrate a, a cryptocurrency that's fast, cheap, right. and reliable. Of course, we're steering them towards Bitcoin Cash. Another fun one we just had here in Korea uh, yesterday, we met with a platform that has uh, over 8 million monthly active users. And uh, they're using traditional credit cards for all these, you know, payments and this and that. And, yep. and uh, it, we're going to help hold their hand walking through integrating Bitcoin Cash to their entire platform. And uh, that's really exciting as well. And uh, I'd be happy to introduce you to them after this call. They're, yeah, that's uh, really cool. As well. So yeah. maybe there's what, additional collaboration. The, is the credit card fee the similar to in the, in, the, in the West where it's usually like the 2.5% range or are they paying more or less in Korea for credit cards? 
Well, I, I met these guys in Korea, but they're based right there in Silicon Valley. Oh, they're, okay. They're, okay. So, yeah. Yeah. But their yeah. customers are worldwide. Got you. Oh, that's cool. That's very cool. I mean, that's, I think cross border commerce is one of the most interesting applications of crypto because of all the friction with payments and logistics. You can integrate, you know, our synthetic currency model of a stable coin with Bitcoin Cash and, you know, other cryptos and really create kind of a seamless, you know, US like e commerce experience, but in a cross border model. Exactly. And I don't think enough companies are really digging into why crypto solves problems there. Uh, but I think it's one of the, you know, we obviously spend a lot of time researching remittances at Abra as one of the key use cases in addition to our investing model. But cross border commerce is something that, that we think is almost as uh, actually in some ways even bigger than remittances because it tends to deal with consumers with more disposable income than remittances. But but it doesn't get as much attention as I think it should. Uh, yeah, it could be one of you think cryptocurrencies for cross border payments. It's, I, I completely agree. It yeah. just hands down beats every other uh, option out there. So if we can make it more useful, more people are going to use it. And with cross-border payments, you're absolutely right. Cryptocurrencies yeah. really shine. Yeah. So, um, you know, again, just to summarize for everybody listening, uh, you know, so native Bitcoin Cash support has just been released in the app. So everybody who had Bitcoin Cash before inside of Abra can now withdraw it to a hardware wallet or use it to pay. On, on, a, on a merchant site First. that accepts I, Bitcoin example, Cash, first.io, which I mean, that is the best way to start if you want to test using Bitcoin Cash for payments. If you have Bitcoin Cash, you want to deposit into Abra and use it to invest as an investment tool for other cryptos. Uh, or if you need to, if you earned it, you know, in some mining pool and you want to withdraw some in dollars to get some profits, you can do that easily with Abra. Uh, we support US and, and soon European and, and, and soon after that global wires to be able to uh, cash out some of your profits. So. So, uh, you know, I keep most of my profits back in crypto, so I'm not cashed out yet. But I know some people like to take some money off the table. So so that's OK, too. Uh, but we're super excited about having the support for uh, for Bitcoin Cash in, in the app now. So so just um, some any any closing thoughts like what what do you want the Abra community to know about like your shared vision with with the community of followers that you guys have in Bitcoin Cash about that currency and and how they should look at it versus every other crypto out there. Like what would be the closing kind of takeaway thoughts on that for, for the, our community? Sure. Our, our goal at, at Bitcoin.com and, and the vast majority of the, the current Bitcoin Cash community is that we want Bitcoin Cash to be a tool to bring more economic freedom to individuals all over the planet. And Bitcoin Cash has this giant network effect with companies like Abra coming on board and so many others. And it allows you to send and receive any amount of money with anyone anywhere on the planet instantly, basically for free. And there's nothing anybody can do to stop it. That's incredibly liberating for all of humankind. And that's what has us so excited about it. And that's why we're busy building it. And if you're a software developer that's watching this, check out developer.bitcoin.com. We built a whole suite of software tools and SDKs for people to build apps really easily on top of Bitcoin Cash. And that's at developer.bitcoin.com. Totally free for anyone to use. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm going to check that out myself. Thanks. You know, that's that's really cool that you guys did that. So, um, hey, Roger, it's really great to catch up. It's been too long. I uh, hope to see you in Asia, uh, one of my next trips out there. And in the meantime, uh, everybody can you now deposit their Bitcoin cash into Abra and convert their Ether to Bitcoin cash and withdraw it, use it for payments, first.io and other places. Uh, but in the meantime, hey, thanks a lot for doing this. I, I really appreciate it. And uh, thanks for uh, supporting Abra. My pleasure. And if you don't already have the Abra app, go and download it and install it today and give it a try. It's fantastic. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Hey, we'll, uh, we'll talk soon. Thanks again for the time. Thank you, Bill. All right.